a vibrant young man is coming who will bear a crown of a king on his head. He will not spare any evil. He will sanitize many, and the many will go. Thousands will go. A, a, a thing that is bigger than you is coming. A sledgehammer. It will strike the head and smash the body. The video about to watch right now is a shocking prophecy from this prophet of God. In this prophecy, he has revealed some shocking things that will soon be happening in our country, Nigeria. He has revealed that there is a man that is coming to take over power in our country, Nigeria. Let me not waste your time. Let me just like what the video and listening to everything the prophet of God has said concerning our country, Nigeria, and what will be playing out in our country, Nigeria. Please don't forget to share the video and also share that platform and share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. If you are a judge in Nigeria, I want you to pay attention. And if you are a senator, pay attention. The police, pay attention. I have been saying this often and on, and you do come to me always. So you do tell me to say it again and again because the Bible says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word. If you are a judge in Nigeria, senator, police, army, navy, call it as it may be, please. Let this always remind you what I say so that you will not be a victim of any circumstance. Don't take any of this word for granted. It means your life. If you are a new judge in Nigeria, please, I encourage you, I advise you to do what is right. If they bring any case to you, that you know that those people who are in the port of authority want to provide justice, resign. Because it will affect you. If it doesn't affect you, it will affect your children. And your children is your hope. Your children is the, the hope that keeps your hope alive. The children that will give you food. The ones that will drag you and go to the hospital when you have no strength of your own. The mouth that will speak for you when you have no strength to speak. The eyes that will watch over you when you are dawn and dusted. Would you like anything to happen to this, your hope of tomorrow? I'm asking you. If you wouldn't, I would want you to pay good attention and have a recourse to the way you are doing things. You, once you are in Nigeria, I'm telling you Nigeria, I am not talking about other countries. Nigeria, if you are a judge and you want to become a judge in the nearest future, pay good attention because I am seeing a sledgehammer that is coming. If you cannot listen to it, pay attention to it. If you cannot pay attention to it, sit down for it. A judge is coming. He will be a leader. And that leader is a, a vibrant young man. He's coming. That vibrant young man is coming. He will open every register. Many liars, many, many judges that have perverted justice, collected bribe, and humiliated people, they will go. Mm. Mm. They will meet the world beyond. They will. Certainly they will. What do you have to do now? Start correcting yourself. I am very happy and have a, a, a candid heart that a woman who is taking care of the the judgment of Mazen Namdekanu said is ha she is having a recourse. I thank you, Bin Tanyako. You are a very brainy woman. And I think what ate others sluggishly will not eat you. You, you are a star. No matter the perpetuation, no matter the forcefulness, no matter the dehumanization, no matter the stress people have put on you in order to do this. You are going to receive a new fresh breeze and nothing will happen to your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sanitize. Sanitize yourself. Lawyers. Who have been manipulating people. Saying all manner of lies against an innocent. Sanitize yourself. The Senate. Who have squandered the nation's oppression. Sanitize yourself. A big sledgehammer is coming. It will not spare anyone. Ministers in the lower and the higher chambers, once you have been ordained a minister, you are a minister in Nigeria, 
that have ate the money that that is supposed to be in the treasury of the many in Nigeria. Sanctify yourself now. A, a, a thing that is bigger than you is coming. A sledgehammer. It will strike the head and smash the body. Palicia, I'm telling you the truth. The police and the soldiers. The soldiers I'm talking about are those ones that are always humiliating people from one corner to the other. Sanitize yourself. Your book will come out and your name is written in that book. I'm seeing it. All your evil that you have done and think nothing will happen will fetch you out. Sanitize yourself. A sledgehammer that will break, even break your arms. Your arms you use. That's your pride. You will break all of them is coming. Sanitize yourself. <laughs> the civilians, the civilians you people have dealt with <laughs> without a recourse. God will fight for them. A vibrant young man is coming who will bear a crown of a king on his head. He will not spare any evil. He will sanitize many and the many will go. Thousands will go. And you see this country again, if he has a new name, it will strive again. All that have in one way or the other squandered the, the money that belongs to this country by squandering the money that is given to them in contract and set this country Nigeria backward whether Nigeria bears another name or don't bear another name it's coming a young man is coming who will have a sledgehammer in his hand he doesn't look at who the person is whether it's my brother or my father but he, his job is to strike the one who has done evil you don't want to know who else is God even if he's the son the young man is coming <laughs> the young man is coming He's coming to put all these things in place. Everyone will vomit whatsoever you have swallowed that is not your own in this government. You you will vomit it. If you don't pay, if you don't vomit it kindly, you vomit it with blood. You know what I'm talking about. No one will be spared. My name is Ambassador Single Edwin. I have no other thing to do than what God has sent me to tell you. With this, I am saying anyone who has ears, let him listen to what the angels are telling the saints. My name is Ambassador Singo Edwin. Your prophet in these guys, the Lord in heaven is still speaking from the mouth of men. If you like, take it. If you don't like, take it. Bible says that if men did not worship me, I will cause the stone to worship me. God bless you till some other time. Continue spreading this gospel to others. I'm sure you have watched the video and I'm sure you pay serious attention to everything the prophet of God has said concerning our country in Nigeria. I will always say this to us regardless of what, how you people um, receive what I've said or how you people react to it. We need to pray for our country, Nigeria. If you listen to everything the prophet of God has said, he said that Nigeria will feel the heat of what is coming, that somebody is coming up. He is pointing towards a direction, but I, I don't want to delve too much into that. He's pointing towards uh, somebody we all know. Somebody we all know. We have all heard of very dark man and all the rest. Like I said, I will not delve too much into that angle. He said that this person is, is coming up. Maybe God wants to use this person for something special. Please let me know first of all. Let me know what you think about what you have said in the comment section. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Now, I need us to do where to pray for our country, Nigeria. A lot is going on in the country. The country, Nigeria, is not stable at this time. Nigeria at this time is in a total mess. It's in a total mess. Things are not moving on well. Things are not okay in the country. But I know that with God. All things are possible. Why we look not at the things that are seen? Because you see, all these things we are seeing right now, they are subject to change. But my prayer, the prayer I want us to pray is this, that whoever needs to rise up to help save this, our country, Nigeria, let that person rise up. I'm not praying for any form of war, any form of violence, but you see, nobody will see something good that will want to happen and say, let it not happen. If there is anybody God has prepared, to help save this country from what it is going through right now, why not? Nobody can stop the agenda and mission of God. Nobody can stop the plans of God. 
it, whatever God says will happen, will happen. And our prayer is whatever needs to happen for this country that to get better, as long as it is the will of God for this country, let it happen speedily in the name of Jesus. The reason why I pray that prayer is because a lot of people are suffering. People are going through hardship in this country. I'm telling you the truth. People are going through serious, what we call serious hardship. People are going through, through serious hardship in this country. So it is important for us to pray. It is important for us to pray that God should intervene and help save us from the things happening in this country. God needs to intervene because a lot of people, I, I move around, I see how people are living their life. Some people cannot, are not even able to feed for two, two times a day. Some people are not able to do so. So when I say we should pray, it's not because I'm in support of whatever this, uh, uh, our government, our politicians are doing. No. I don't pray because I love, I saw a comment that was very funny to me yesterday. He said that all I know how to do is just to, to say, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Yes. What else do you expect me to say? Let's go and fight. No. I understand your pain. If I say I am a liar, in fact, I am part of the people who are doing all these things if I tell you that I don't understand. The reason I understand is because me, I'm also feeling the same thing. I'm feeling the same thing. I'm feeling the heat. We are all going through all the things happening. So that's why it baffles me when people say, you yeah, support, support what? Support some people that, that are putting me inside this man that I will struggle, work so hard, and manage to make a hundred thousand naira or a ninety thousand naira, and I will not be able to easy to buy anything. I will not be able to easy to buy anything. I cannot afford some things I need. Sometimes when we sit here, it, it, it's not because um, there is anything. You know, we we just love some of these things we do. But honestly, the country is choking everybody. The country is choking everybody. Sometimes I sit and I ask myself, how do a family of about five, how do they cope? How do they cope? All these things are questions I ask myself. And when I say, let us pray, it is because of these people. We need to pray for things to get better. The country cannot remain like this. So let us pray. We have heard what the man of God has said. Whatever needs to happen, for the country to get better, let us pray that it happens speedily. Let us pray that whatever God is preparing, whatever it is God wants to happen in this country for it to, to get better, let it happen. Whoever God wants to raise, let that person rise up and help save this our country, Nigeria. We are tired of the mess in this country. We are tired of what we are going through in this country. We are tired of struggling. We are tired. So I want to encourage us. Let us do where to pray for our country, Nigeria. You may not like the country anymore. You may not like uh, be a fan anymore. You want to separate as well, but for now, I want to beg us that we come together as one, as one unit, as one people, and pray for this country. Nigeria will get better. I know so, and I want you to have faith in it. Nigeria has frustrated so many people, but you need to understand that this country is a blessed nation and someday, somehow, the country will be better. All we just need is good leadership, somebody that can put, put Nigeria on the right track. And the man of God has said that God wants to raise, is, as, as, is raising somebody to help us do that. He's actually not the first prophet to speak about this. We have been hearing a series of prophecies that somebody is coming. So we need to pray. We need to prepare ourselves. We need to prepare our mind. So I want to beg us. Let us do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. And as we do so, I know that God is going to meet us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching today. Please do it to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. So I post another video, you'll be notified. If you turn on subscribe, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. We love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel. May God bless you. May God reward you in the name of Jesus. When you call for one, may millions answer in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget, share the video on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and love them. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next one. You are blessed. I have good news for you. You will win. 
is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.